boom, what's up everyone? Welcome to Simulation. I'm your host, Alan Sakyan. We are on site at the Raw Science Film Festival, the fifth annual one, where we are awarding incredible humans for disseminating scientific wisdom and inspiration to generation to the next generations. We are super excited and honored to be talking to the producers and directors of Burden of Genius. We have Laura, we have Chartis, and we have Carl joining us. Thank you so much for coming onto the show and talking to us. Happy to be really here. Appreciate it. Great, thank you. Um, it's actually quite an honor because I was crying uh, during the screening of their film because it was Dr. Thomas Starzl correct? Starzl, who was a major pioneer in, in surgical and in surgical transplant, transplant surgery of the liver. And they did a gorgeous job of illustrating the burden of genius that it takes to run through walls of adversity and be able to impact 125,000 liver surgeries have now happened over the span of like 40, 50 years. And he taught so many people to become surgeons around the world. I, I'm... I was just bawling. So I want to hear from you about the importance of what you did, why it's so important to you, and what we can take away from it. Because to me, I made the comparison to the Wright brothers as one of the also burdens of genius of so many deaths, so much hard work, so many walls of adversity to help us have over 100,000 commercial flights happening around the world every single day now. So, so many people are doing this. So please uh, tell us about your journey and the importance of this. No, please, you. <laughs> well, it, let's see, it really was kind of a gem that was dropped in our lap when we, you know, Carl actually conceived of the idea to, 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 you know, to do the film. And uh, we started doing interviews with Dr. Starzl in 2014. And uh, we only did a few interviews at, at the time, about five interviews. Uh, with people who, you know, with him, about 15 hours over the course of a week, and then other people who had worked closely with him. And um, at that point, you know, we were still looking for the rest of the money. So, so uh, I went off and I, and I edited, you know, a, a short uh, sizzle reel, let's say. It was about tw 14 minutes or so uh, in order to raise the rest of the money. And, uh, and then we... On his 90th birthday, there were people coming from all over the world who had been trained by him back to pay homage to, to him. So we were really lucky to get all these people. We never could have interviewed all those people. So we really did a marathon of interviews over the course of a weekend. Uh, we're able to interview probably over 35 people, I would say. And uh, ended up with about 70 hours worth of interviews. And then the idea was, you know, I mean, with a documentary, there's not really a script. You, 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 you know, it's the, it's the interviews that, that are the glue that holds it all together. So then it was about going through all the interviews and, and pulling takes from that. And I think the first cut was like eight hours. It was just talking heads at this point, you know. And then slowly uh, compress it, you know, get rid of all the repetitions and, and kind of find the structure, you know. And it's really kind of written in the editing room in that way. And um, uh, you know, and Laura did all the interviews, uh, uh, which were <laughs> fantastic. Because I mean, you know, that's one of the things you're hoping for is that you have, uh, you know, if the interviews are gold, you can make a good documentary. That's what it comes down to, you know, if they're really heartfelt. And yes. so, so we really were very lucky that that uh, Dr. Starzl trusted trusted us enough to really be able to tell it all, you know. Yes. Can yes. I just do a quick... Uh, yes, absolutely. So I just wanted to say why we have to tell this story and why raw science is so important. This is one of the greatest stories never told because of exactly yes. what you said. It's easy in the rearview mirror to say that's how the polio vaccine happened. Transplants and immunology have changed modern medicine. It's the greatest significant thing that happened. Most people don't know who Dr. Starzl is. But the reason it was so important is you can't repeat what it takes to do scientific progress until you see this film and what they put together to really feel the impact of, you know, I first saw it when Dr. Uh, Ted Koppel was accusing him of literally putting people's lives at risk. Why are you doing this? And of course, now all around the world, this is being replicated. So that's really why it's great to be here to do this. So. You know, and it occurred to me that until you really not only have made the film, but begun to show it, that in some ways you don't even know fully what your own film is about. 
And I realize now that the most important thing, I think, about the film is, as somebody said earlier, he chose to do the hardest thing imaginable, the impossible thing. And that's so inspiring to me. Um, and that there, there was no careerism. It was just about wanting to help people overcome a seemingly insurmountable problem. And I would hope that students, we made it for everyone, of course, but I hope that students, whether it's middle school kids, college kids, medical students, will see this um, and take that kind of inspiration because you don't know who is the next Starzl, who is the next Elon Musk, who is the next Steve Jobs. Hopefully they'll be a little nicer than some of those people, but I mean, the size of their thinking and the way they've changed things and will continue to change things, I think is really what the film is about. Challenges. I know you're lighting. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's uh, there this sort of mentality of putting everything on the line for the advancement of humanity in some sort of regard across some sort of scientific discipline that just pushes our edge of knowledge further and and just augments life in so many ways. That inspiring that in in the next generations is so important and I and I hope to see more film from you that does that for other in other people continues that and seeing this in in schools like we were talking about as well showing this film in schools what do you guys have on the roadmap uh, well I can tell you in terms of distribution we come from Pittsburgh where Mr. Rogers believed that education in the classroom could change the world yes. and the truth of the matter is there isn't great ways of getting media into education we have we're gonna see this movie on tour around the country and around the world it's already screening Love from it. India to, to uh, Dallas but the real important thing is to partner with educators uh, organ donation organizations when people see this movie they change their organ donation status and we're working with all the medical people around around the world and that's why festivals like raw science can really elevate you know what we see but we really need to put together the people in there the educators with the people from media to make sure it gets to the classroom so yeah. in the next year if they just go to burdenofgeniusfilm.com they can see it around the world uh, and they can follow and it'll be in their neighborhood soon so I love it thanks burdenofgeniusfilm.com is links in the bio for that um, and on so next is just distribution then yeah well, we actually are trying to put together a 20-city tour, and we have a lot of requests to do the movie. So they will should be in some theaters, and then it will be available in about a, a year for the general public. So thanks. Awesome. Okay, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Even the short bit, I look forward to a longer-form conversation about the burden of genius at some point. Thank you, all three okay. of you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Let us know where this is. I will. I will. I will Let's definitely let you. you know. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. If you guys had a good time. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, guys, the burden of genius is so important. Really embody this. Really go and create, build, go through the walls of adversity. Much love. Check out the link in the bio, and we'll see you soon. Peace.